Okay. Yeah. Uh, he's a he's not on the So, yeah, yeah. so he's a Mark and Susan right there. No, he doesn't work for us. He blows the projectors and we put it in place. So, it's all about making it right now. Coach, you just talked about relationships. Uh, I, I'm sure you saw the clip of no, Tyler and also picking their NBA jersey numbers on their teammates. Uh, yeah. What's it just mean for you to see your players kind of carry that value and just what they, the lesson they learned at Marquette into the uh, NBA? Well, we say that the players make the culture and then the culture makes the players. So it's a reciprocal relationship. And it's not something that is meant to be finished when their career is finished. It's meant to be a way of life that continues. And that's really one of the joys of coaching is to help guys adopt certain ways and means that will help them be more successful for the rest of their lives. What was it like just to see that clip? Uh, I'm sure it brought a smile to you, but what is it like to see that moment? It's a lot of fun to see because Tyler and Osha are so much different from one another and the way they go about things, but they do have a common shared value of caring about the teams and caring about what it's going to I don't know. I'm still fired. Back to the question. Yeah. What did you mention? MIT signed with the fairness of five days a year, but I think the mistake that, that a lot of people make is thinking that the conversation um, that you have explicitly about retention is the most important conversation. What's more important is the relationships that are built and developed throughout the year, uh, the communication, the shared understanding of what's going to go into doing something really, really hard. And I think that's probably where some people come up short. I think it gives us a real advantage on a few fronts if we press that advantage. I don't think, it's like anything else in sports, you can have an advantage, but if you don't press on it and utilize it and exploit it, then it can kind of lay dormant. And I think that's honestly, over these six weeks of preseason practice, that's the biggest thing that, that I'm trying to help these guys learn and understand, is that, hey, the advantages we have are there, but we have to lean into them and press on them in practice, in between practices, and then especially with the games. How do you lean on it? Well, I think guys, first and foremost, it sounds simple, but guys telling each other what they need from each other. Because if you think of a team like a family, the longer you've been together, the more you should be able to get into some nuanced discussion about, hey, this is what I need you to do uh, to help me be successful. This is what you need me to do. Uh, and so that's something that we really promote and work on every single day. Coach Smart.